What is going on guys, Double R here, back again today with another video. As you guys see, we have taken the valve cover off the KA240 and it's actually not that bad in here. It could be a lot worse. The reason why we've done this today is our second drift event and we've actually had some misfiring issues with this 240. Changed the spark plugs, changed the fuel injectors and now the only thing that leads me to is the valve cover gasket, which you guys can see is just soaked in oil, which it shouldn't be. It should be keeping the oil out of these spark plug sockets here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try and fix this valve cover gasket issue. I just got one from Z1 Motorsports. They finally came through after about a week for waiting for it, but it's all right. It literally came in the day before a drift event, so I'm not complaining. So also, I got to raise the suspension slightly on this side. When we put on the wedge yesterday, you guys can see that uh, my fingers can barely even get through the fender and the tire. But on the driver's side, we were able to dial it in perfectly to where my fingers can get straight through. So that's perfect. To me, that's perfect fitment, especially for a drift spec because I wanted the car to sit a little higher. That way we can clear any elevation in the track. And if we end up clapping out anything. So I just gave myself a little bit more clearance. All right, so valve cover's back on. We got everything all nice and pretty. The old valve cover was just dry rotted. Hopefully we can figure out some sort of difference. I cleaned up the spark plug so it's not flooded anymore. So it should be okay. Right now we're running late, so we're just feeding the dog. And then we're gonna head out, take a shower, and uh, go to the event probably as soon as we're uh, done and getting ready. All right, we're here. We're about two and a half hours early, but I just wanted to set out my wheels. Wanted to make sure my suspension was right and I wanted to get some food, so. I missed it. Uh, we can take this shit off, jack it up, see if it's not leaking. If it's not leaking, you can go back out of hand. Take the hood off? Yeah, do it like not. Hell yeah, take the hood off. What's leaking over here? It's like you're hanging out with the radius yeah. work at the bottom. Yeah, what is it? It might be battery. Oh shit. But battery? Could be. Oh yeah, battery. Yeah, it is the battery. Yeah, the battery. It's leaking or uh, yeah, wash it's right here. Yeah. You just put yep. a battery acid on your fingers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so I know this video took like a t slight turn for the worse, but we ended up getting some positivity in it with some Hot Boy wheels on the 350Z. <laughs> now we got the pin for the throw up bearing last minute. Thank you to Chase for going to pick that up or else this wouldn't be possible. And now we got the throw up bearing in there. I made him put it in so that way I wouldn't break the pin again. And now we're able to swap this transmission back in with the new clutch and hopefully drive it with some Hot Boy wheels to where it's not th th throwing every single time. The head is wider. Then we can put a bolt or two here, one on each side to hold the transmission so we can not let go of it. All right, one, two. Then it's not my hand. There we go. Hold on one second. There you go. All right. <laughs> Can you push it forward? All right. No offense, but trade me. Hold on, hold on. Now, you can shake it or twist it because it's almost there, right? How far away from it is it? It's half an inch, almost. Mm -hmm. Fuck, that's a starter bolt. It's just rough. Careful with your leg, Brandon, with the tire. Where are you trying to put the It's going to go on that bolt. Okay. Or any part. Okay. So you, I got the train. You're good. You're good. Pause it for a second. Good, Brad. You want to move? You can. All right. Come on. Down. Yep. All right. Stop there. Pump that one time. All right. Good enough. Okay, you're good. It's on there. Down? No, no. No, it's, Stop it's there. good where it is. No, it didn't, is it? Yeah, I got it. The slush? Yeah. No, I just had my foot here and I had this and I had to wiggle it up and down and around so it slipped the way in. So, if you guys can hear from the sound of that, I've been bleeding this clutch for probably the past 20 minutes. We finally got the transmission installed, which was a hassle and a half, and I don't think I would have been able to do it without him and without Driftology. So, thanks to them. I'm going to put their links in the description below. We just got to put the shifter together, bleed this clutch, and then this car will be ready to drive. And I could already feel without the car even on and just by bleeding it, this clutch is a thousand times better than what was in here before. So thank you to Z1 and thank you for Enthusiast POV for hooking me up with the correct clutch. <laughs> Remember how it used to sound weird whenever we were pushing the clutch? 
No noises from the outside. Camber's perfect. I'm so mad. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You're good. 240 is officially shittier than yours. 